The Image Info panel controls the visibility of titles and captions on our images. Titles and captions can be one of many different types of information. Place a check mark in the title checkbox if you don't have one already, and then click on this menu. Let's go ahead and add the file name as a title, and you can see that the file name appears here. You can also apply custom text by selecting custom text and then typing in the text. So you can see the title has changed to winter up here. A caption is similar to a title, except it appears below the image. And so let's just go and change it from caption to file name. And you can see the file name appears right over here. If you don't want to see it, you can take the check, uh, check mark out. The output settings panel controls the level of compression on each image. Since the ultimate purpose of this gallery is to be viewed as a web page, it's important to consider the size of the images being uploaded. Very good quality JPEGs with low compression will require more space on your web server and take longer to download by your viewer. This is especially the case if your viewer is on a low speed internet connection. Generally, a quality setting of 70 to 80 is optimal for web purposes. So my quality setting is set at 70 and I'll leave it at that. You can also choose to embed different types of metadata into your JPEG images. So if you click over here, uh, you can include the copyright information, for example, or you can uh, include all the metadata that's attached to this image. The watermarking checkbox controls the visibility of your watermark, and the watermark can be seen here at the bottom left corner. So that's the same watermark we configured earlier. Remember we configured watermark one and watermark one small. You can click on either one. This is just slightly larger and a different color. And then there's a smaller version here. If you want to edit your watermarks, click on edit watermarks and you can make changes to all your uh, preset watermarks in this dialog box. You can have Lightroom automatically sharpen your images by clicking sharpening. And then from there, you can also select whether you want low standard or high sharpening. If you don't want Lightroom to apply sharpening, simply remove the check mark from this checkbox. The Upload Settings panel allows you to upload your entire web gallery, including all HTML pages and images to your web server. This is if you have web hosting set up. If you do have web hosting set up, you can configure your FTP server by clicking the Edit button from this menu over here. And in this dialog box, you can enter your server, username, password, the path to your uh, images directory, and so on. If you don't have your own web server or if you're signed up for shared hosting, you can get all that information from your web host. Now let's go ahead and return to our index.